हेलो एवरीवन आई एम दत्तात्रे निकम वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन आवर चैनल ई फंडा न्यू डे न्यू टॉपिक एंड आवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज आईएसए इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन सिंबल लोकेशन एंड मीनिंग पार्ट थर्टीन ए दिस इज अ कंटिन्यूस पार्ट ऑफ आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट इज आईएसए कोड्स एंड कॉम्बिनेशन प्लीज विजिट टू आवर चैनल एंड वॉच ऑल द वीडियोज क्रिएटेड रिलेटेड टू द टॉपिक ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड प्रोजेक्ट एंड If you are new to our channel, then subscribe to our channel to get latest updates on upload of our videos. So let's begin with our today's topic, that is ISA instrumentation symbol, location and meaning part thirteen A. ISA instrumentation symbols, location and meaning. Instrumentation symbols in a PNID are standardized. As per ANSI ISA S five point one standard, the standard ensure a consistent, system independent meaning of communicating instrumentation control and automation intent by providing standardized instrumentation symbol and identification. So everyone understands the requirement. One can refer the figure on the right hand side. For a graphical elements are defined in ISA S five point one. or instrumentation those are a discrete instrument shared control display computer function and a programmable logic controller the standard also group them into three location categories as primary location auxiliary location and a field mounted location category now we will study the figure one can see a circle with a single line at the center and EIC zero one is indicated. We will see the nomenclature used for this. First letter T is indicated, measured or initiating a variable. Second letter I is the modifier that is indication. Third letter is C is a modifier, a readout, a passive function, output function, modifier, etc. And the central line at the circle is a location indicator that is a Field mounted, primary location, auxiliary location, and now we will see the number that is zero one. One is the identifying number that is a numerator identification within the control loop, and the circle, instrument symbol, discrete instrument, shared display, flash control, etc. This is how the instrumentation. Signals or tag numbers are indicated with symbol, their location and meaning. Basic symbol and line types. In this slide, we will see some of the basic symbol or line types are used. One can see the complete table where various kind of lines are defined. Now we will see first one. That is a piping. Major processes is shown by dark thick line. Connection to processes minor dark line with a thin line. Functional diagram continuously variable signal. Electric schematic ladder diagram signal and a power rail. Undefined signal one can see the single line through two cross lines. meaning used for process flow diagram and a diagram where the type of signal is or not of concern pneumatic signal dark line to two cross lines field thermal element capillary tube or a field sensing line between pressure seal and a instrument electric signal thin dotted line meaning electronic or electrical continuously variable or a binary signal functional diagram binary signal hydraulic signal line through the l sections hydraulic signal capillary tube that is a straight line to two cross signals field thermal element capillary tube field sensing line between pressure seal and a instrument electromagnetic or a sonic signal that is a guided single lines with a two cross sectional sinusoidal signature guided electromagnetic signal sonic signal fiber optic cable electromagnetic or a sonic signal not guided only two 
sinusoidal waves can be seen unguided electromagnetic signal light radiation light radio sound wireless etc wireless instrumentation signal communication link internal system link software or data link dot, dotted line connected with a two circle hollow circle that is for the communication link and a system bus between devices and a function of a shared display shared control system that is a dcs plc or a pc communication link and a system bus internal system link software or a data link this is the same symbol dark line with a two solid circles communication link or a bus connecting to or a more independent microprocessor or a computer based system dcs to dcs dcs to plc plc to pc dcs to field bus etc mechanical link single straight line with a two solid circle rounded by one more circle that is a mechanical link this is how the various types of line symbols are defined and their meaning we have tried to cover in a brief so that you will have a good idea and understanding on the line times and their meanings moving on to instrumentation devices or a function symbols one can refer table below general instrument or a function symbols where the locations are covered from left to right that is a primary location field mounted and auxiliary location now discrete instrument shared display shared control computer function programmable logic is covered at the left hand side from top to bottom now we will see one by one discrete instrument is indicated with circle and center line field mounted is indicated with only circle and auxiliary location is indicated circle with a two center line shared display one circle with a center line and surrounded by the square field mounted is a circle and a square operator auxiliary location with be circle to center line and square computer function hexagon with a center line field mounted is only hexagon auxiliary locations will be hexagon with a two center line programmable logic controller that will be cross circle square center line with uh, surrounded by square now field mounted will be cross square by square auxiliary location will be cross square two center line covered by the square this is how the typically symbols are indicated and one can see the differentiation that shared display used as a dcs maybe then the programmable logic that is a plc can be considered as the interlock or the esd system function this is how the typically symbols and legends are used for instrumentation devices for example we will see some of the physical instrumentation that is lic001 that is indicated by the circle and a center line that is a physical location now we will see lic001 that is indicated with the circle center line and surrounded by the square that is a part of the shared display and shared control in a dcs similarly fic0045 that is a shared display pc045 is the computer function field mounted one also one can see pt045 is indicated as the auxiliary location behind the panel this is how the various symbols you have tried to cover please go through the isa 5.1 section and study all these symbols and legend for necessary understanding which will improve your terminology so as to improve understanding on the pnid moving on to isa 5.1 section the purpose of this standard is to establish a uniform means of designating instrument and a instrumentation system used for the measurement and control to this end a designation system is presented that include symbols and identification code which we have seen it is very important to study the complete isa 5.1 standard latest edition as this will help you to understand all the symbol legend and identification it is not practically possible to cover all the symbols in such a videos so that we have covered the extract and some of the important video we have tried to cover most important and practically used symbol and now we will move on to 
application example where we will see the implementation of this symbol moving on to the topic where we are concluding on this examples with the basic symbols line imp type implementation one can see the first figure where the vessel is shown with a flow loop as well as the temperature loop here one can see how the basic symbols are used how the terminology is being used how the line types are being implemented where one can see the complete flow loop with the various symbols and line types similarly one can see the temperature loop with various symbols their legend and various types of lines are in being implemented similarly in a second sketch where one can see the horizontal vessel where the level gauge is connected and the level uh, instrument that is a level transmitter radar type is top mounted and similarly discharge of lv 135 is also shown there also you can see the other type of symbols are being used similarly on the right hand sketch one can see the pneumatically actuated valve electrically actuated valve and the temperature transmitter that is uh, wireless communication is being used where the complete symbols is are being used to have the representation from field to the control room and control room to the interface with a out, output or a feedback signal for controlling or actuation purpose of this actuated valve as well as electrically operated valve this is how the representations are being carried out with the help of isa 5.1 section basic symbol legend line type for better understanding and this understanding will help you to better your understanding on the pnid now in the coming slide we will not able to cover all the symbols hence we have indicated or included those as a slide where one can see various types of symbol that we will see one by one that is in a brief now we will see more symbol in this slide we will see instrument symbol one can see whatever the symbols basic we have seen those are also indicated here for various terms and action now similarly there is another set that is a valve various types of valves are being covered in this symbol this is for ready reference we are including in this video please go through this and understand carefully in this slide we are covering various types of instrument various types of equipment various types of devices are being used and the symbols and legends would be used as part of this pnid it will be helpful please study carefully in this slide various types of equipment various type auxiliary fittings various type other discipline equipments are represented and refer complete isa 5.1 standard for better understanding of all the symbols before implementation hope this video will help you to understand better on the instrumentation symbol legend and their meaning with this we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows if you are new to our channel that is our youtube channel e funda then subscribe to our channel e funda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel e funda similarly you can follow us on instagram page similarly you can follow us on our facebook page as well and keep watching our channel e funda for various topic related to engineering and a project with this we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic keep watching our channel e funda thanks watch our channel for new day new topic